Welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. You can use today's project as a backdrop or frame for anything you want. You can hang plates, you can hang platters, but you can also think about your holiday decor. The holidays are just around the corner, and like many of us, we're using existing items this year. So you've seen those three silver platters in the frame in the living room, and here's what happened. I purchased the canvas from Amazon, and I used a mat that was from one of the frames, which was fitting really snug as a template. I laid it onto the canvas, which was lying on the floor three different times. I spaced it one inch apart. In other words, two inches in between each canvas cut. And that way I would have enough canvas left over to be folded over the edge. So it would make for a very tight pull when I'm stretching the canvas to apply it with hot glue. So now I have my outline here. And as you can see, I have three pieces of canvas that I'm going to cut. Each large piece of foam board cost me $5.99 at Hobby Lobby. About every three weeks, it is 50% off. The second time that I used the mat from the original frame, I used it to draw on the foam board so I could get the exact same size. Now I'm not using any nails, any tacks, or any staples to secure the foam board inside the frame. This was my trial run here. There is no need, the foam board fits so snug and that's why you wanna get a good cut. You do have options for applying the canvas to the board. I used the hot glue gun method. It was pretty easy for me because I wanted to secure the canvas to the board by wrapping it around to the back. Now the other option you might find a little bit easier. I'll leave that up to you. You can use spray adhesive right on the board and then attach the canvas to it. I'm not a fan of spray adhesive. So I just wanted to give you guys who love that method a good option. Now I'm using my whelp pliers that I use in upholstery. You don't have to do that. This is just me being me, a little extra, but you do not have to do this. I love it when you guys send me pictures of your projects. I'm still getting pictures of DIYs that I did four years ago and I absolutely love it. So that was just a sidebar, but keep those pictures coming in. I also wanna say for those of you who want to do this project and you are going to need foam board, Go to Hobby Lobby, it is $5.99, and it's normally that price about every three weeks, like I said. Now, when I purchased this foam board, um, I purchased three sheets, and one of them came up $15.99, and I challenged, and I said, hey, I don't understand why. So they told me some of them were $15.99. I said, there's no way, and that they had multiple types of foam board. Who knew that? I bought this board directly from the area where they frame the pictures or mat the pictures back in the portrait studio is what I call it. So if you go back there, that's where that foam board is. Now there was only two sheets in there that were $15.99. The rest were $5.99. So I don't know if there's some sort of discontinuing of this whole process of $5.99, but I bought 12 more sheets to be on the safe side. But it should be, it should be $5.99. My hot glue gun is not hot, it's warm. When I start to work with it, I actually unplug it and if it gets a little hard or difficult to use, then I'll plug it back in. But that's how it works. So you might wanna also have a little knife so you can fold that over so you don't have to risk the heat from the glue hitting your fingers in case you're sensitive. And what is this technique? Yes, take a regular sponge and just make sure it's a little damp. And dip it into some old paint and wipe it on your canvas. Now I can do multiple colors here and create beautiful art, which I plan to do, but this is just a great way to put distressed um, areas on canvases and also give it a whole different vintage look. You can do this with fabric as well as canvas and it's just so pretty and there's so much you could do here. I get so excited just watching this footage again and again. Hey. 
I purchased these platters a while ago at a local antique mall and they've just been stored up and so why not take these things out of boxes and put them on the wall? I recommend that you apply your plates or platters directly to the board before you put it in the frame. Now, if you end up with it in the frame and you want to adjust, then make sure there's a book underneath it supporting that board, okay? So it doesn't pop out of the frame. Just wanna have some support there. But otherwise, lay the foam flat, apply your plates or platters or whatever, and then put it in the frame. These are just so elegant and so classy and something so simple can make a space look so refined and so classy and also have a little modern flair to it because it's different. So try this. I know you've got some pictures, things that you're cherishing. You're putting them in drawers and tucking them away in boxes. Bring them out and celebrate them. Why not? This is the perfect time to do just that. Now here's an oldie but goodie pop out art project. I took some of that beautiful glitter paper from Hobby Lobby and it was $1.99 a sheet and one of those Dollar Tree reindeer ornaments and I attached it with glue and popped it into the frame and it turned out really, really pretty. Yeah, so um, now I'm gonna do something different this year. Well, that's it for me, guys. I want to thank you so much for welcoming me back into your homes. It's been a while since I've been this consistent. And now I have videos every Sunday. Come on, we'll get art, home decor, furniture transformations, and design. So if you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so today. And remember to turn on your notification bell. Thanks a lot for watching. And as always, stay in prayer and stay creative.